In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you one technique that will allow you to fully curve text in Adobe Illustrator in wonderful and weird ways. And sponsoring today's video is Skillshare, the place to learn a new skill set heading into 2020. With classes on music, photography, design, freelancing, and much, much more, there's bound to be something there to trigger your creativity and something that can provide vital skills heading into 2020. Learn how you can get Skillshare Premium for two months totally for free later in today's video. So for today's curved text design, we need some text quite obviously. And I'm going to suggest you use a tool sans serif font such as Bebus or Antonio. So once you have your text, open up the symbols panel and then add a new symbol using your text. I will first show you how to curve the text and then after how to add the gradients because it is actually quite difficult to do and it can be troublesome. So we need a cylinder to map our text around and to do that press M for the rectangle tool and then make a rectangle like so. With your shape highlighted come into the 3D and revolve menu here. You're going to want to select the map art option and then click once left at the top here and we also want to use the invisible geometry option. The next step will take some trial and error and you playing around with things but I want to go for a 90 degree orientated text solution and then I want to really stretch my text across the cylinder. And the next step probably requires more fiddling and more playing around because we want to actually rotate the shape itself. This of course totally depends on your design preference and how you want your design to look. This is just my initial design that I'm showing you as a means to demonstrate the process. So now we have the curved text, we want to add a gradient and if you actually try to do that the standard way it isn't going to be achieved. So I have made a workaround for you guys today. We first need to expand the design in the top drop down menu and then for the next few steps I'm going to try and go really slowly because it is quite intricate and it is quite complex. So from this point onwards do not move your design don't rotate it or don't scale it but you should copy it with command or control C. Then we need to head into the pathfinder menu and use the divide function. This is going to cut our design along the possible paths into individual pieces. We then need to ungroup all of those pieces in the top drop down menu. Now I'm going to delete every piece that doesn't make up the SAT on Satori. And so carefully I'm going to zoom in and remove the parts that don't make up that part of the text. Once we have the letters remaining that we do want to work with, you might notice there are invisible shapes left between. And so to remove these, first select one letter and then use the select same function to highlight them all. We want to then unite them in the pathfinder window, which will make SAT one a vector shape. So now drag and click over your whole design, hold down shift and click the lettering. And so we now only have the invisible shape selected and we can just hit delete. I know this is quite difficult, but Illustrator doesn't allow for easy ways to create gradients on the curved text. But also this design does require we have two different gradients, so it is pretty tricky. So let's go ahead and add a gradient to the SAT. And for this part, I'm going to add quite a light color gradient. So once your gradient has been applied, select the lettering and then press Command or Control 3 which will hide your text. So I hope you haven't moved your design like I've mentioned because now press Command or Control F and this will paste our original section perfectly in position. We need to do the exact same process but for the back lettering. So go ahead and divide the design, ungroup it and then remove the areas you don't want to work with which for my design this means deleting the SAT. So again select one letter and use the select same color option. Finally hitting unite in the pathfinder window. Now we want to remove those invisible shapes so select everything, shift click the lettering and then hit delete. 
We then are going to apply a second gradient and this time I'm going to go for a darker option that will kind of provide a 3D effect. The gradients I'm working with do actually perform better on a black background which I will use later. But once you've finished the second gradient, press Alt or Option, and then also Command or Control and 3, and this will unhide the first part of your design. Now if you followed these steps properly, you should have a design in this way. Making the curved text is the easy part, but to actually apply the two gradients in this way is quite tricky. And I hope you have actually enjoyed my workaround and it has been something you understand throughout this process. If you're not quite sure, you can maybe go back and rewatch this tutorial because it will eventually sink in. But yeah, this technique can provide some really awesome and some really interesting curved text designs. Making today's video possible is Skillshare. It's the online learning community where millions of creatives come together to learn new skills and to excel their careers or their hobbies into 2020. I'm actually learning how to create 3D and 4D animations through Skillshare and one of the courses I really am digging right now is one by Gustavo Torres. And even with my busy schedule, I still manage to learn things as most of them are under 60 minutes. So it's really easy to integrate Skillshare into your day-to-day -day life. And you guys will probably see some tutorials around 3 or 4D animations on this channel when I do perfect and master those skills. It's something I've wanted to learn for a long time, but I've never really had the time to do it. I said the first 1000 people to subscribe to Skillshare would have two months totally for free on the premium version. So join Skillshare today and learn some new essential skills for your career or your hobby heading into 2020. If you want to learn more essential skills about Adobe Illustrator tools or logo designing, do subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content and click a video on screen. But until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.